Saina Nawal might now be performing in the shadows of some of her younger colleagues in Indian badminton of late, but there's no doubting her place in the pantheon of greats in Indian sport. The first Indian to have won an Olympic medal, the first Indian woman to reach number one in the world rankings, the first Indian to have won a Super Series title, and the first Indian to have captained her country to a medal in a team event of World Badminton with a bronze at the 2014 Uber Cup. Yet, she might have been lost to badminton if she had persisted with her first choice of sport as a child. At the age of nine, and um, it was uh, just because my parents used to play, and uh, um, they used to play in Haryana in a club. But my father got promoted and we shifted to Hyderabad, and um, one year I did karate as well because I was a very uh, sporty person, so I used to love playing sports. But one fine day, it was too tough for me, for an eight-year-old eight to continue karate. So my dad told me that, why don't you try badminton? And that's how I joined badminton in uh, 99 May in Hyderabad, Lal Bahadur Stadium. And not a uh, planned start, but uh, finally got into it and really liked the way I was playing. And I, I used to love the training and uh, started winning the small tournaments. And, um, and that's how the journey started. I was uh, very happy to uh, see my name in the papers, sign up winning tournaments and getting some amount at home. So I used to like all that and, um, and the best thing was I was winning the tournaments, the small ones. So that kept me motivated. Saina went into the 2008 Olympics as a teenager and nearly came away with the medal. The lesson learned there came in handy four years later in London, where she picked up a bronze in the women's singles. It also marked the culmination of a short period of time when women's badminton was often a case of China versus Saina. When I was 18, I played in Beijing my first Olympics. I was very close to a medal. I felt really uh, sad when I was leading so much and lost a very crucial match. First Olympics is always very special. You get to meet so many top players whom you only see on TV. But it's a, finally, it's a dream come true for any athlete. I um, represented my country in such a big event and that Olympics actually gave me a lot of fame, a lot of, uh, uh, you know, people got to know who Saina is and uh, she's doing really well in badminton. Of course, I lost the medal, but that gave me a lot of confidence that yes, I can win a medal in the Olympics. I had to wait for next four years, but I kept on playing well, kept on winning tournaments and finally got a medal in the London Olympics. So that Olympics was very big uh, confidence booster for me and it really helped me to achieve uh, one more medal in the next Olympics. In 2015, Saina went where no Indian woman had gone before, the top of the world rankings. I was actually uh, playing pretty well. I was uh, playing all the finals. I won the India Open, fin uh, India Open and then All England finals and then India Open Super Series winner. So I was somewhere expecting that I could be world number one, but uh, that really happened when I won the India Open in Delhi. So it was such a dream come true, you know. Somewhere I was not uh, very much um, uh, confident because I was losing to many players in 2013 and 14. So when I moved to Bangalore, I was talking to Vimalsan and I was like, sir, will I be able to win again or get to number one ranking or something? But he was very confident and he was like, Saina, just focus on your training and, um, and just believe in yourself and rest. Uh, you are working hard and I'm sure you will get to that ranking. And yes, somewhere I had uh, in my mind that yes, if I win the India Open, I can get to the number one rankings. And, and I got to that and uh, it was such a big, big dream come true.